There we go. Good morning, folks, and welcome to another video. And uh, what I'm doing, I'm actually servicing the Gram Deck uh, control unit because, uh, as you know, it sounds, it sounds like shit through the microphone. And I've just tested. I've just tested the uh, the 100k resistors, uh, which are here. We get me pointer upper. Got one. Got one here. Let's try and zoom in a bit more. Give you a bit more of a look. There we go. Right. Right, we've got one here. Uh, there. I've replaced him. I replaced him there in between that transistor. Uh, he's been replaced. And him down the bottom here has been replaced. And I'm also going to check all the other couple of resistors and uh, see what we arrive at. I've got the circuit somewhere, it was here. Uh, I did have it somewhere, it was lurking around, it probably fell on the freaking floor. I hope not. Right, where are you? Where's my circuit diagram gone? Right, that ain't it. Oh, let's turn the sucker back on and the soldering iron. I've just walked my dog so I turned them off while I was out. Right, let's just find let's find my circuit. It was here a minute ago. There it is. Right. <coughs> now 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 I need a magnifying glass because they make the circuit so goddamn small you can't see what you're doing. It's just a zoom out a little bit so you got a full view of the board. There we go. Right. Well, basically, uh, I need to check R5. Well, I need to check. R four has been replaced. Um, R one, which is hundred K, that's been replaced. Uh, Got to check. We'll start with R two because that's a 33k and it comes off yeah let's see if I can get this right R2 let's put the uh, I'm not sure if I need to shift the range I'll soon find out right so and this is the this is the 33k uh, so let's move that down a range three point nine k uh, 3.2k sorry 3.2k and do we have a 3.2k because the value is not marked nothing's marked on the board so you have to work it out do we have a 3.2 I'm checking 3.2 that's R2 Right, well that reads okay, I'll accept that. I 
I'll just double check it because that's orange, orange, red. Right. 3.3. Oh, it's on the money actually. Yeah, I'll leave that in. That's pretty much on the money, so I'll leave that in. Right. And the next one to that is 100. Oh no, done 100k. Uh, is R6 which is 20 which is, is that 27 or 2.7 it's 2.7k so let's see 2.29k yeah that's okay that's that's with intolerance These capacitors look a bit misshapen and a bit shitty. Now the next one. Oh, would I have got my magnifying glass? So them ones are okay. R5. 4.7 k is it 4.7 just make sure we've got a decimal point in there yep 4.7 which should be this fucker here Four point four. yep 4.5 yeah that one's okay I can live with that who couldn't Right, and we've got one more resistor left, which is R8. I didn't see R7, might be one I replaced. Uh, we've got R3, which is 47 ohms, that reads 50. So we can, I think, I think if I remember rightly. Uh, uh, that 100k there has been replaced right alright R8 R8 is 10k and R8 where are you where the fuck are they put you uh, that can't be it Where the fuck have they put R8? Right. Where the fuck have they put R8? That ain't it, capacitor. Yeah, that's capacitor. Come on, R8, where are you? Whatever you are, you 10k. Right. Well, this is weird because we've got. Uh, what's it connected to? R8. That's weird. Right. 
So they don't show you a component layout of the board, you only get the schematic. Right, where does R8 go to? Let's see, let's see if it goes to the way it's obvious. R8. It comes off C10. And it goes to L2, which is the bias coil. It goes to L2, which is this fucker. So, has it been left out because of a circuit revision? thing here. That fucker there ain't it, is it? No. The dry joint on that needs needs to do it to do it yesterday. Right. Well I can't find out eight. Because, hang on, this could be it. Four point seven, no. Two point three. How many resistors is in the damn thing? <laughs> Count them. Might come across it then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. One, two. Let's do this so we can all see it. One. Let's get my pointer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only seven resistors in the circuit, which means either R8 is missing or it was never put in. And it could be a different circuit revision. Oh, hang on. The sneaky bastards. The fucking sneaky bastards. It goes across here. I hope it's fucking okay because I don't fancy fucking digging that capacitor out. The sneaky bastards is fucking hid under there. Uh, 12.16 uh, 12, 12 yeah so it's gone up by 200k uh, 200 ohms uh, it's gone by two, yeah so it needs to be changed unfortunately now right so we'll get that out Fancy them fucking stashing it there, eh, folks? The, the, the sta I'll show you where they've stashed it. See that capacitor? I've got my finger on there. That's a mica capacitor, I believe. Well, what they've done, they've stashed it right underneath that. Fucking sneaky bastards. Ow! That splashed a bit. Ooh. There we 
we go. Let's pull this capacitor, but carefully because I don't want to destroy it because I haven't got a replacement. So. we out. The only thing about my sucker, I like it, but it's a bit unwieldy. Uh, would I? I would have turned the friggin' soldering iron on, wouldn't I? I would have thought I did. I must have turned the fucking thing back off. Fucking dopey bastard I am. There it is. There we go. The fucking elusive hidden 10k resistor. No. Let's dig it out. It doesn't matter whether the resistor breaks, it's being replaced. So I'm not too mad about that. Clear the holes up. I'll tell you what, you know. I mean, you can't expect this stuff to work like plot work after 50 odd years you got to expect it to have some sort of you know some sort of there we go you got to expect it to be you know dodgy in some respect I mean Just take the bias core wire off a minute. Just that a minute. Get that out of the way. Now I can clean the all up. Now let's, now let's go to my stash. 56k to 100k. Uh, 56k to 100k. So I'm going to find it in there. Let's go to get a 10k resistor. Let's get a 10k resistor. Yeah. Put my glasses back on. Let's get a 10k. Hey, where are we? 3k, here we are, 10k. But, oh, pardon me, folks. Uh, brown, black, orange. Brown, black, orange. Brown, black, orange. And I like to actually check them. This is a gold one, but I like to just give it a clean with the blade. Clean. See, because these components are old, but they're not. They're not used. They're new, but they've obviously. Obviously, they're old, new, new old stock. Ah, 
Right, so let's just test the value. It should be spot on. Or oh, near as near as damn it. Nine point eight. Hang on. Nine point eight. That'll do. So near as damn it to ten k. Right. So bend the resistor over. Bend over. Yeah. Do you know something folks? Electronics is a brilliant hobby to have. You know it's bloody soldering iron. It does my head in this, it's got a problem with the bloody plug. The soldering iron's got a dodgy plug on it and every now and again it goes off. Um, this time it's chose to go off but there we go we're back on again hopefully it's a bit crap this iron Although I do like the solder station it came with. And it heats up pretty quick. Look at that, we're hot already. Right. Do 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 do. That's not very clever. Yeah. Come on, you. Yeah. It. That's better. Now solder, solder the bias wire back on the bias coil wire back onto there. There we go. There we go. That's the wire back on. Let's just do that one there. I'm not happy with that. Yeah, I am now. And I've not filled up the hole that I need for the capacitor to go back through. So we can now install, reinstall the capacitor. I mean, I'm not replacing these mica ones, I haven't got any. Well, at least I think they're mica. Uh, come on. Suck some solder off. 
Move that over there. Where's my sticker in it? There we go. Oh, that's lovely. We've got the old back now that we need. Let's see if we can pull that through there. It came through a bit further than that. Got it. Now let's get it soldered in. See, mainly this is preventative maintenance. It's you know, it's You just know that once it's been done, you know, you just know once it's been done, an engineer won't shouldn't need to go near it for another 50 years. <laughs> I'll be well. We should all clip the bias wire. Why am I? There we go. No, I haven't done. Right. Right, <clears throat> there for a minute. Well, that's the resistors locked out and sorted. Now, let's have a look at the capacitor. So, what we need now, we need the ESR tester. Because, in all honesty, I'm not happy with some of those capacitors. So we need the ESR tester to find out whether or not they're either good or wankers. Not there a minute. And this is what I use. I use the I use the Atlas ESR ESR60. Uh, it's a good it's a good tester for what it does, and it wasn't expensive either. I think it's about sixty at the time I bought it. It was about sixty of our UK pounds or to be more precise my UK pounds now let's have a look that should be 25 microfarad And he's monitoring for components. That's let's make sure that's monitoring for component. That's monitor analyzing open circuit and low capacitance. Let's try again. Monitoring for component. So let's get my box of capacitors out. <laughs> no wonder it sounds like shit through the mic. <laughs> right, get me a box of capacitors because I think they are. Yeah. Oh. The voltage 
you know, people do say, you know, put a higher voltage in, but the thing runs on 9 volts, it runs on a 9 volt battery. So basically, so basically, uh, that's a hundred microfarad. We want twenty five microfarad. Oh, thereabouts. That's one. No, not that I found one. It was one microfarad. A hundred. I just had the hundreds out. I know I've got some. You need to start making the components bigger or printing the names bigger on them. 10 microfarad, I thought it was. Right. Come on, we need some 25s. 220. I hope I've got some, I should have. Two point two. But even 22s would do it. That's a 2.2, so that won't do it, but... So t t if we've got 22s, 22s will do it. Yeah, and there's 22. 22. Right. So. Let's see, I think these are all the same value. Ooh, oops. Try not to drop my test instrument. Put that there for a minute. Close this lid so it's away from the soldering iron. Now let's have a look at the value of these capacitors. 25. So I want 22. 22, so that's 222s. And what's this one here? 25, that's another 22. And that one there. What the fuck's he? Don't know what he is, but we'll find out because we'll just clip him out because we actually I'll just use the iron to get him out because he's going to get him replaced anyway. Right, and what's it? What are you? Twenty-five. So. That's that's four twenty fives we want, four twenty twos we want, we put twenty two mics in. And this last one here this last little one here Now what value are you? You're a two microfarad, you. That little one there is a two microfarad. And could I get away with putting a one microfarad in? I could, couldn't I? Uh, but have I got anywhere near a two? Could I put a 4.7 in there? 4.7, yeah, I could. It's a bit higher than a 2. Better than putting a 1 in it. Right, so. Let's put 
stick that there for a minute. Now, now, because these are axial capacitors, this might present us with a problem. Now, let's have a look at the lead spread, see if this see if these spread across because that has to go across to there that has to go across to there let's bend the leads to how I need them with enough through to go the cir through the circuit board and they don't reach so pop that back into pop that back into there there we go I'm gonna have to clip them run do it that way gonna have to clip them solder them in. Only have to do one side though and I can take that back out. I have to do with one side. Right, so I only have to do it with one side. But unfortunately, it's the way I'm going to have to do it because the leads are just not long enough. And I'm not ordering components that I've already got in stock. I'm using to do this, I'm using what I've got. Which is. Good joint on that. There we go. Now, solder. There we go. Right, so we've got a good joint, and now we've got one in. And Snip that one and we'll keep these because we'll go through testing them all in a minute and uh, the positive oops negative goes there what we'll do, we'll stick the, we'll solder the positive together. We'll solder the positive. Come here, you. Solder the positive first. I think it, I think it will make it easier for me. And I better make sure I'm putting the right ones in because I've got a a one UF and R or forty seven and R and better not put that in the wrong bloody place. Just check that one there. Make sure that's a 22. Yeah, it is. I mean, we all like a mistake now and again. But at this time of the morning, I'd rather not.
22 put some solder on it and solder it together there we go now that solder this um Okay. Right. Yeah, they're a bit crappy these freaking capacitors. And that one was wide open. Oh no, the one on the end there was wide open. In the other way, just move that bias wire and try and there we go. We'll test all of them in a minute, we'll just get them replaced first. That's the 4.7 one, so put that one there for last. Live, uh, positive. Oops, there we go. I hope some of you get some use out of these videos, you know, because that's the reason why, one of the reasons why I make them. I mean, you get people on here, on YouTube, I won't say, I won't mention names. But they generally rabbit on about a load of shit. And you don't see them actually ever fucking really doing anything. Makes you wonder whether they can fucking do anything. Or whether they can just rabbit shit. Just rabbit on about shit. I mean, I'm not going to mention any names, but... Uh, yeah. You know... Some people do, and oh, I need to check see if. Uh, oh no, he do, usually does it on a Wednesday. I uh, need to check whether Retro Hacks. I was gonna say, see if he's done his cookery video. Him and his wife have done their cookery video this week. So I normally like to watch it because it's fun and it's educational and. I just think they're a great couple and I think what they do is good and you know it's yeah definitely now I'm gonna have to disturb you Mr. Transistor I didn't really want to move any transistors 
I don't know if we can't get in otherwise. Get off. There we go. Can't get in to get that capacitor. There we go. See, really, this is the only way of replacing them, I mean, because you can't do them otherwise. I mean, there we go. But, I reckon this damn thing will work a damn sight better once we've done there. Uh, that's the 4.7k, 4.7 might one. Uh, so, we need to stick the positive down into the hole there. Ooh. Pull a bit more solder off the bobbin. I don't, I don't like work holding the bobbin, I like to work holding the solder. Because the bobbin just tends to be a bit unwieldy in your hand. Some people use it, or some people do hold the, hold the, hold the, hold the bobbin. I'm just one of those that don't. You know, I just prefer to do it my way, I mean, which is the whole point really. Do it your own way. There we go. Yeah. yeah, well, this should work. To be honest, what I always say, when I do a repair, I always say, I don't expect it to work better than what it did when it was manufactured. I expect it to work as good. And I'm waiting for my supper coming because my stomach feels like my throat's been, been cut. Right, and this one here, uh, this is a bit of a tricky, uh, bit of a tricky one, because it means lifting that capacitor. So what I'm gonna do, that what I'm gonna do with him. So I'm just going to solder him to the back. Yeah, he's got some guns coming out of him. So I'm going to just solder him to the back. So there's one hole there. Where's the other hole? On the edge of the board here. So we'll put him on the back. We'll put him through the hole slightly so he's secure. And then what we'll do, we'll we'll put him there. Just solder him in. There we go. And that is all. Oh, I'm gonna just clip that. And that is all. And that, folks, is all the electrolytics replaced. They've all been done. Alright, so that's all sorted. Got a bit of something stuck on the board there, I've just picked that off. It probably never would have caused any issue, but why bother? Why, why, why allow it in the first place? Make sure we're all cleaned out in there, so that's. That's really. 
that's really all we can do uh, with that there we go and what we'll do in a minute just as a just as a bit of fun for shits and giggles as musty one says because I watch all, I watch his videos even though I don't do mechanics and I'm not I'm not a mechanic but I watch his videos because I just find the guy funny you know there's I just find him I just find him I just find him funny and you know he brings you into the video with him and you know and the way he comes across he you know it just makes you feel part of it makes you feel like you're actually there and that's what it should be like you know we're making videos right so we're tightened up there now uh, we haven't tested this yet well obviously we haven't because we've just prepared it but what we'll do now we'll test these capacitors and see <laughs> we'll start off with this we'll start off with this little uh, two microfarad one I bet that sounds a damn sight better Monitoring for component. Monitoring for component. It's still waiting. And the the thing's working because if I put if I get a new capacitor, if I get a new capacitor, put a new one on. Just get anything will do. Grab anything out of the box. Put a new capacitor on this, and it'll, it'll give me the. It will give me the results, at least it should, it usually does. No, it's not. Just check something. Compensation failed. Try again. Yeah, I wonder if my test has gone a bit funny. Now I'm thinking on it, I think the capacitor's knackered and it wasn't. It needed replacing anyway, but I've never usually had any trouble with this tester. Just go and check this out, fellas. Be back in a minute. Right, we're back to test these faulty capacitors. Turned out a wire had come off inside my tester. It must have happened last time I replaced the battery and I didn't notice. Because I replaced the battery last time but didn't use the tester. I just replaced the battery as a because I turned it on it was dead, so I put a new battery in. But I never checked. There we are. Right, right, 0.56 uh, microfarad and it's 20, uh, 20 ohms on the ESR. So that's definitely needed to be replaced, isn't it? And it should, what value was that one? It was a 2 microfarad and it was 0 0.5, 0 0.50. I mean, they were all being replaced anyway, so the fact that the tester got screwed up doesn't matter. They're being replaced anyway. It's not like right, and that one's gone up. It's uh, 
39.20 microfarad, 39.2 microfarad, and 0, 0, 0.82 ohms. Thirty-seven point four nine, and that's one point five one ohms. I mean, they are all knackered. I mean, they are all foot. So, I mean, they've been in there fifty years. Thirty-four point nine, point fifty-eight ohms. So they're all knackered anyway. So. And they're all, they're, they're, all, they're all swollen. Uh, 26.0, that's the only one that's nearest to what it should be. 26.00 microfarad, 0.95 ohms. Now, let's see what a new one tests. Let's put a new one on. And this, I think, is a 22. Can't remember. Two point two. <clears throat> one point nine eight. So that's yeah, and uh, one point nine four ohms. That's a bit high, but yeah. That's where we're up to with that, and. That's the that's the test instrument sorted. And that's the wrong frigging box. Uh, <laughs> that's the wrong box. This one goes in this box. Yeah, fancy me not knowing a bloody leader come off inside, but then again, you don't know, do you? These things happen. Now and again, it happens. Anyway, at least that they can be put back where they live in a bit. Uh, now, let's turn the soldering iron off because I don't need that now, don't think. Right. Put the where's the screwdriver gone so I can stick the knob back on. Right. There we go. Right, and that, um, back my battery pack. Now, that has been reconditioned. Should I think anyway? I've got the screws to put in that yet. That should work a damn sight better than what it did. And the only way we'll find that out is put this box of resistors away. Turn the soldering the unit off, soldering the station, station rather. Now, the soldering strap out of the way. Now, 
plus. Alright. Now I'll probably find Leave these two screws out for now. Leave them out for a minute. Make sure that everything is right. Plug the playback and playback record head in. We'll just check it plays back. Unplug the sucker. So I can plug. Well, that seems a lot fucking louder. Ooh. That's a lot louder. I can tell there's more coming out of that. So, what we'll do now, we'll get the microphone. You can tell there's more coming out of that. Let's just zoom out. Oops. There we go. Alright, I haven't got a plug on the end of this mic, but that doesn't matter. We've got it in there before and it worked. All you do is just You just wrap your wire around there. Put that there a minute. in, that's the mic in, turn it to record, one two, one two, one two, one two, one two and two and two, right, so let's see if it makes, see if it makes a better recording. Right, this is testing the Gramdeck control box uh, preamp unit after replacement of certain capacitors and certain resistors. So we'll see how we go. Uh, we'll see how it records now and plays back. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm not saying testing one, two, three. Every fucker says that. There we go. All sorted. Let's play it back. There we go. Right, this is testing the Gramdeck control box uh, preamp unit after replacement of certain capacitors and certain resistors. So we'll see how we go. Uh, we'll see how it records now and plays back. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm not saying testing one, two, three, every fucker says that. There we go, all sorted. Let's play it back. Well, do you know something, folks? I can't fucking believe that, uh, that repair 
has made a hell of a bloody difference. Let's just make sure that that so okay it won't just look. We're back on mic. Turn the volume down. We're on the pinch roller. I'll switch on. <coughs> right, the microphone's on. Right, uh, let's. Uh, what can I say? <laughs> I'm certainly happy with it. It uh, works. Well. I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, the very first thing ever said into a recording device was said was said by the shithead Thomas Alva Edison. Uh, <laughs> here goes. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb. She fed it on vanilla, and when she took it up to bed, it shit up on the pillar. Right, let's give that a run. See how that sounds. And there we go. And that, that should complete the repair of this this unit. Uh, it sounds, in all honesty, it sounds a hundred percent better than what it did. You'll know that by watching the first uh, video. It sounds a damn sight better than what it did. Uh, I'm gonna, I can't wait until tomorrow to can record some music on it and see how it sounds with a bit of music going through it. Anyway, let's turn this off, and it goes off. Put that back onto playback, and then why am I still talking into the mic? Let's turn the volume up slightly. There's more gain as well. <coughs> Pardon me. I've noticed, folks, there's more gain. I've noticed there's more gain. I'm certainly happy with it. It uh, works. Well. I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, the very first thing ever said into a recording device was said was said by the shithead Thomas Alva Edison. Uh, <laughs> there <it> goes. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb. She fed it on vanilla, and when she took it up to bed, it shit up on the pillow. Right, let's give that a run, see how that sounds. And there we go. And that, that should complete the repair of this this unit. Uh, it sounds, in all honesty, it sounds 100% better than what it did. You'll know that by watching the first uh, video. It sounds a damn sight better than what it did. Uh, I'm gonna, I can't wait until tomorrow so I can record some music on it and see how it sounds with a bit of music going through it. Anyway, let's turn this off. <laughs> Oi! That sounds a thousand times better, that you know. I'm talking to my daughter, she's in the front room. Uh, she, she, what she does, she has a a phone in one hand and a Nintendo DS in the other and she sort of goes on to autopilot and she just sort of sits there and uh, eventually she does decide to go home not that I'm bothered about her being here I don't mind anyway folks uh, let's get this video uploaded and thank you very much as usual for watching and I hope it's been entertaining and educating. Uh, I hope we've all learnt something. And, uh, you know, uh, as I say, thanks for watching. I've just got to put the screws back into the uh, preamp, which I'm going to do now. You don't need to see me do that. I mean, I mean, anybody can screw a couple of screws in. But, uh, yeah, uh, you know, so, yeah, after, after, after 50 odd years... 
uh, capacitors and resistors do need to be replaced. Um, but ma mainly just electrolytics, the rest of them are pretty much okay. And, you know, I just can't believe the difference it's made. As I knew it would, but I didn't think it was going to be that much of a difference. Wow. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. And more to come later. Bye for now.